Hello to all you infiltrators and perpetrators out there in the world. To all you beautiful, wonderful people out there in the world. All right. Let's get rid of beautiful people. The infiltration of perpetration, the perpetration of relations and beautiful people, the mimics, beautiful people and the gimmicks. Let's get rid of all of those, all of that temporary stuff, beautiful people, and all of those temporary things that, that does not mean you being who you are. The same, beautiful people. That person, beautiful people, before all of the infiltration, the perpetration, the lies, the manipulation, and the deceit that leaves you incomplete, beautiful people. I'm talking to all you 100ers, okay? And all of you all that have not yet experienced being without all of those things, all of those substitutes, all of those things and all of those experiences that your beautiful self is having that's not, that, that does not speak to, uh, that does not say who your beautiful self is, beautiful people. I need for your beautiful self to know who you are, beautiful people. And that goes, beautiful people. Batteries, as they say, metaphorically speaking, batteries not included, beautiful people. You don't need all of those substitutes, beautiful people, to substitute for who you are. The person, yes, I'm speaking to, that you were born to be. Born free, free as the wind blows. All you beautiful people out there in the world who were born naked and free. Before all of the corruption set in <laughs> that you that deprive your beautiful, wonderful self of being that beautiful person that you are, beautiful people. The one who's struggling with this identity, and you, you know who you are, beautiful people. I don't know all of you beautiful people. I don't know your names. But I know the love that I have for all of you all is the same, beautiful people. Those are, that is, them are. Those beautiful people to whom I speak, beautiful people. Yes, there's nothing more beautiful, beautiful people, than loving you who you are. Loving you being who you are. Loving that person, beautiful people, that you were born, that you, your beautiful self is. And beautiful people before the corruption set in. Don't allow the corruption, beautiful people, to deprive you from being happy and having joy beautiful people, and sleeping good at night, having a nice, good, wholesome sleep, beautiful people. Yes, to all you beautiful, wonderful people out there in the world to whom I speak, there's nothing but beautiful people in the world, beautiful people. You just got to accept responsibility, beautiful people, for establishing that unestablished identity that speaks to your beautiful self being who you are, beautiful people. Yes, beautiful people. It's a wonderful thing, beautiful people. And it's a wonderful life, fulfilling experience to have and knowing and experiencing and coming to know, longing to know, wanting to know, never being satisfied until you know, beautiful people, who your beautiful, wonderful self is and are, beautiful people. And don't deprive yourself of that beautiful right to know. And beautiful people, don't hurt yourself and harm yourself along the way to getting to know that beautiful person to whom I speak and that I speak of. And to get to know that beautiful person and grow in that beautiful person. It might take a little time, then it don't really take a whole lot of time at all. All it takes from that point is a made up mind, an acceptance and agreement, beautiful people, to accept the beautiful, wonderful person for being the beautiful, wonderful person. That you are, beautiful people. I'm telling you, it's an awesome experience to have. To have the ability to love yourself and lead by example. The example to lead by of love, kind words, and smiles. I was just in the mall, beautiful people. Wonderful experience. I have a lot of them all the time, but in different ways, in different formats, different structures, beautiful people. But they all point in the same direction. And they're all going to lead into the same place in that direction in which I speak of, beautiful people. To be loved. To be loved. To be loved. And kind words. Yes, beautiful people. And smiles. I was sharing my YouTube channel with a mother 
and another the other lady that was with, with her, I guess she was still paying for whatever she was purchasing at the counter. But I got the mother's attention, and a beautiful little girl sitting in the stroller, a beautiful little girl. I mean, soul just shining bright. Beautiful, eternal soul just lit up the atmosphere. Beautiful. I mean, I mean, I was just, I was taken by surprise. She heard me mention the word love. Kind words and smiles. And she was willing to ha get a crook and have a crook in her neck. Because she turned all the way around and showed me all those beautiful little 32s and kept looking at me. And all I could think to myself is I wish that I could just mentor her as a mentor or father figure like all the rest of them I've been exposed to and experienced. And to love, kind words, and smiles. As soon as I mention the word, I'm thinking a girl three, four, two, two, three years old, four years old, I don't know. You know, I'm not good with those numbers, but she's a little girl. And I told her mother, I said, I said, you, you see, look at your daughter. I said, as soon as I mention the word love, kind words, and smiles, that beautiful little eternal soul turned around and t put her eyes on me and was not ashamed to let anybody and all for that matter for anybody to know it. And that's how we should be. That's how we are supposed to be. That beautiful little girl, I said, look at your daughter. I said, she's attracted to the word and she's attracted to the experience of having love, kind words and smile. And she nodded her head, yes. And I said, feed it to her. I said, put love, kind words, and smiles on, her, the, on, on, on that beautiful soul and in her beautiful little mind, I said, and feed it to her every day, like for bre breakfast, lunch, and dinner, feed it to her. Little girl nodded her head again with, with that beautiful smile on her face. That's who we are. That's how, who we are supposed to be, beautiful people. That's how we are supposed to live, beautiful people. That's who we were created to be. Don't lose your identity. Don't lose yourself, beautiful people by not allowing your beautiful self to be established in that beauty, beautiful people. To not to allow yourself, beautiful people, to experience that beauty. Beautiful people, if you're living a fictitious life, if you're living a pretentious life, if you're lying to yourself and everybody else, if you're, if you're living a fabricated life, beautiful people, if you're mimicking and perpetrating, Beautiful people, you can never get a chance to experience beauty being that beautiful, lovely, wonderful you, beautiful people. It's time to experience that person. And it's time to experience enjoying that person, beautiful people. It's time to enjoy having that free will of, in that life transformating and changing experience, beautiful people, to be that beautiful person that you are and that you were created to be. And don't allow anything or anybody, beautiful people, from preventing you from establishing that identity and coming into that reality. Surely, if, a, if little bitty children whose brains are still fully undeveloped can understand this and can relate to this, and accept this, and not uh, it's not intimidated, or it's not ashamed about or by anybody who who hears them or sees them, and being their pure, beautiful, undefiled self. How much more than beautiful people should we want to get rid of all the isms and schisms and walls and doors and and, and everything that's incomplete about you being that person? from birth until now, before the corruption set in, to sweep out all the trash and tear down all the walls that prevents your beautiful eternal soul and your temporary fresh flesh from connecting. To all you beautiful people out there in the world to whom I speak, I love you beautiful people and have a smiling day.